Hey guys, uh, it's Friday. It's Friday morning. That means I still have to work right now. Uh, but I think next week is gonna be the last week I have to work from home. Then I have to go back to office. So that's kind of nice. Uh, I've been chained at home for a month plus already. So yeah, it's been it'll be nice to actually go out again. <laughs> but in the meantime, uh, yeah, gotta settle some work. Not sure what we're gonna do today, but I guess you guys will find out. My hair is getting really long. Like. If you guys want to see, it goes down to here. It can part both ways. It can part one way. It can part the other way. <laughs> but um, I guess ultimately I'm just trying to part it to this side. I, I don't know. Trying something new. Usually it's on this side, so... Yeah. Uh, let me get some breakfast. Today, we're making French toast. If you guys didn't know, recently I've been trying to cut down on my weight and stuff. One of the things I do most nowadays is that I don't eat rice anymore or I cut down as much rice. So this is like a meal with just proteins and yeah. Here's my problem. When I'm going back to work uh, next next Monday, the food or the cafeteria, right, that they serve the food always have like rice and all the other dishes and stuff. So. I don't know, I kinda, I'm trying to think that should I like pack my own food and go to work but that means that I need to spend more time cooking for the next day. Ooh, this is a toughie. Ever since I've been working from home, it's much easier for me to like contain what I eat and stuff but now that I have to go back to the office soon, my diet may not be as, you know, not gonna lie, the hawker center outside my house, the food is still oily, you know, so most nights I kind of have to cook for myself, like the more clean version of food. And yes, I'm going to cut my hair like tomorrow or something because I've been waiting for myself to... I've been waiting to like cut my hair like maybe one week before I start work or something like that. All I know is it's growing too much right now and I really cannot take it anymore. So I bought this little thing to like contain my hair and stuff. So if I look weird, yeah, that's just how it is. I mean, it's not the best thing to have. It's better than a hairband because a hairband would just... Yeah, anyway, don't get me started on this. Take a look at this, guys. It's so gloomy today. Like, the whole day... I don't know if the camera can pick up how gloomy it is outside. It's just... The whole day, it just looks like that. Dark. Looks like it's gonna rain. Didn't rain. It just... It's just like this the whole day. I don't know why. Oh wait, no, it did rain. Yeah, it did rain a bit. Oh look, it started to rain. Yep, just on cue. I'm not sure you guys can pick up the rain. Yeah, you can, you can. Yeah, it's raining really heavily right now. Uh, what a way to end the Friday. All right, folks, it's dinner time. Some chicken, some cherry tomatoes. We're making chicken today. Few things to note here, I never filmed myself cooking before, so this is quite new and the lighting is shit. Right, let's get with the chicken. Don't do that. It's through. Salt, the chicken, pepper. Flip it over, more salt. And now we leave it to season. Time for the vegetables. You can see we're dealing with broccoli today. Alright, how are we gonna cut this? It's a huge chunk right there. 
voila, broccoli, garlic. And a very big green pepper. It's the size of my hand. Yep, it's huge. Now for this, we only need a quarter of it, so. Now we're ready to cook. Yeah, just good enough. Get some butter. And when I say butter, I mean actual butter, not this margarine crap, but, but I ran out, so we're just gonna use this. Look at that. And now we leave it to cook for four minutes before we flip it. Now we leave that to boil before we put the broccoli in and now we just wait for the chicken to you know finish cooking about four minutes and then we're gonna flip it. Look at that. Now that's what I call a good fry. Okay, now that we flipped it, it's Probably good in about another three more minutes on the other side, then we're going to take it out to let it cool down. Just listen to it. You know, just listen to it. Look at that. Damn. Next up, broccoli. There we go. Alright, here we go. So yeah, that's my dinner. Um, I'm gonna eat this first because I am actually starving, so... Oh. Okay, don't judge me, alright? I ate healthy today. I deserve this, okay? Alright, today we're going to try something different. We're going to be looking at aglio olio. I've never done this before. Uh, I just took the recipe off the internet. Make sure to chop your garlics into thin slices. Alright, for this one, I'm going to put about half of these in. Okay, you want to put this on low heat only and put a generous amount of olive oil in this. But five to six tablespoon while this is cooking and stuff you want to put in your garlic you want to put some chili flakes same time you want to put in some oregano or parsley look at it slowly cook in the oil on the olive oil and garlic yeah, just watch it cook slowly, man. Okay, pasta is done. We're gonna drain it right now. Look at the amount of pasta we have here. That's a lot. Now we stir. Now add some salt, black pepper. Now I add some cheese, but the thing is, I don't have a grater, so we're just gonna peel it off. Right? Because why not, right? Doesn't that look nice? Alright, there you have it. Aglio Polio.